Hey guys, Travis of Parker Mountain Machine. Today we're gonna to go over the install of our new PMM AR15 Magwell. Before we go over the install on our Magwells, I just wanna have a quick talk about fitment. We designed our Magwells to work with mil-spec AR15 lower receivers, but uh, as most of you know, that doesn't mean a whole lot anymore. Uh, there's a million types of different receivers. Here we have a modern material. Uh, it fits great on here. It's a little bit outside of mil-spec, but uh, it'll still work. So I'm gonna go over uh, what it will fit and stuff that it's not even gonna come close to fitting. Um, we've left some leeway with our hinge design as what it will fit, uh, but just keep that in mind. It's not going to be a perfect fit for everything with it being in a uh, machined aluminum part. So just a note on fitment here on this modern material, we've got a good example. There is a slight gap on the outside of the magwell here with the fit to the receiver. That's just because the exterior dimensions are slightly different than a standard mill spec. Uh, that being said, the hinge design allows it to clamp on nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. Uh, it's not impeding the actual mag funnel at all, as you can see. Still a good funnel for the magazine uh, as we eject that there, still drops free. Now, if you put this on something like a uh, Aero Precision lower, their standard, not their uh, E1, uh, it'll fit much tighter because then that's one of the lowers we designed it around. Uh, but now I'm gonna show you some lowers that uh, it's absolutely a no-go with, just so you have that information. So as an example of a lower receiver that it will not fit, uh, this is a Aero Precision M4 E1 lower. They have a built-in flared magwell, and you can see there's a, a lot different profile on the outside as well. So there's really no way that this is ever gonna fit. So pre-existing magwells on lowers that are flared built in this is going to be a no-go uh, it's going to need to be at least close to mil spec as you can find as another example here we have an lmt mars lower here uh, again looks more mil spec but the flare is much larger and as you will see I can get one half on, but it's not gonna come anywhere close to closing because the receiver is much wider than a standard mil spec. All right, for actual install in the magwell, it's very simple. You have just the hinged magwell here, just a pin at the front acting as the hinge point, as well as a single bolt. So all you really need to do is take your lower here. Uh, we're using this one because it has an enhanced trigger guard. There's a note there to be spoken about. Um, some trigger guards are gonna be larger than others. We can't account for everything, so you may need to uh, take your Dremel or something and trim that away if that's a snag point. But when it comes to installing it, you can just throw one side on there, clamp it on. As you can see here, everything just went on smoothly. It's super simple. You can take your bolt, you can put a little dab of blue Loctite on the end here. Get that started threading into itself. Take your wrench. Now this is where I know a lot of you guys wanna break out the Ooga Dooga, but just use light pressure here. That was barely finger tight and we're already not moving around. And we've got a good mag funnel here. Now another note, as lowers vary, uh, you may have some flat spots that don't line up perfectly with the magwell. Uh, this one's actually pretty good. There's a little bit of a ledge here at the back, uh, if that's something you're worried about. Nothing a little round file can't fix, but uh, it's not anything that's going to stop your uh, mag from going in. But that is the basics of the PMM Air 15 Magwell.